On a pleasant hope had a somewhat uh, unpleasant problem there in the past 24 hours. Some bison got loose in the Polk County community. As you can imagine, that caused some anxious moments. Joe Hickman joins us live from the scene. Joe. Yeah, Paul, uh, the downtown area of Pleasant Hope, a town of about 614 people, is that direction by about a tenth of a mile. And then over here is the farm where the incident happened, where the bison were supposed to be when they came into town. And then over here is the street just coming out from downtown by about a tenth of a mile. And you see all those houses in there? Well, yesterday you would have seen a lot of buffalo roaming. Don't know about the deer and the antelope playing, but that's where the buffalo roamed. And it all started when a truck from out of town was taking the buffalo herd to this farm area. And uh, then things changed quite a bit. There were seven cows and seven calves that escaped, and we'll let the people involved pick up the story from here. We have uh, all this pasture that we worked really hard on fence to make it six foot high with high tensile electric wire. As this brand new herd came in, we we're trying to see if they could have the pond for winter. There's still fence over there, but the seven went out from there, so no, they're not going to have the pond. So this is punishment for them? Do you think so? <laughs> We had several calls come in from 911 um, stating that uh, people were observing buffalo out in several different areas throughout town. When you're driving down Main Street and you got four buffalo running at your patrol car, it's definitely a different feeling. It felt like Jurassic Park, like velociraptors running towards you. Not your ordinary day. Whenever it comes to those situations where they're scared, that's where it makes them a little harder to catch them because they are fast. They're oftentimes faster than horses. We're not set up with proper equipment to wrangle buffalo. So with the support of the local farmers, the Polk County Sheriff's Office, the Missouri State Highway Patrol, Missouri Conservation Department, we were able to get them taken care of. I was able to call in a group of boys who, when they do get out like this, there's a crew that, that mm. comes and takes care of it. I know a few cowboys were excited to hear that they could rope a buffalo. They tranquilized them. And then once they're on the trailer, they use the reversal and detranquilized them. Approximately two miles within the city is where they went. And the reports of the one today was located out on 13 Highway, which is about six or seven miles from here. Uh, luckily, there's a lot of cowboys and farmers and just good hearted people over here that were really, really excited to kind of be a part of it and to help. Others were mildly to moderately annoyed and with good reason. Some local farmers have damage to their fences and some property. I do want to apologize to anybody that this inconvenienced. Um, I'm more than happy to come out and uh, fix fence. Um, there's been one one gentleman was helping with his truck and bumped right into the device and trying to get her to move over and stay out of the tree line and so I'm gonna go pull that dent out of his truck. The herd is actually owned by the Totem Valley Bison Company in an effort to restore the buffalo population. One of its main targets was public involvement. This was not what I was intending with that, but I do believe we've achieved that goal. <laughs> the only sad news is that that one that did get all the way out to Highway 13, there was concern that they might have to put it down because it was so close to the roadway. Don't know exactly how that turned out yet, but elsewhere, it, there were no injuries to any people and uh, the fences were the only things really, other than that one truck that got hit, uh, that there was any kind of damage at all. Paul? All right, thank you, Joe.